Name one time in history where the people who banned books, media, and opinions were the good guys. Hi, I'm Eric. I'm the world's youngest Bitcoin millionaire. I made it in Silicon Valley, and I've accomplished a lot in my life already. But now, I'm leaving big tech to fight for free speech because the big tech overlords are violating your privacy, censoring your speech, and I think that's so wrong. That's why I created the Freedom Phone and its uncensorable app store. Woo! We're covering this one today, ladies and gentlemen. When I saw this a couple days ago, I think I must have had a wet dream or something, some like cake farts level crap. But uh, this is the Freedom Phone. All right, now I'm a big advocate of data privacy and security and all of that. I think you all know that by now. Virus investigations. I'm like a broken record. Now, when I look at a device like this and I think about everyone's complaining about big tech censorship, unbannable product, all of it. Ah, you want to keep your data to yourself? Buy this phone. Now, this is a $500 uh, Freedom phone, and I kind of want to look at it and sort of uh, demystify this, this crazy answer to privacy and security. So before we continue, I want to kind of finish this video off, and I want to laugh at it, because it's got a whole bunch of buzzwords that I really want to sit down and deconstruct. Everyone is complaining about big tech censorship, but no one is doing anything about it. They say, build your own phone. So I did. Oh, you built it yourself now there, eh, buddy? Well, let's look at your actual website. This is the Freedom Phone. Completely unchanged. And it's got a big giant American flag behind it as if you're trying to grift all those Facebook Karens. But uh, this is the Freedom Phone, okay? The $500 Freedom Phone, right? So if you click onto it, you can actually see that it's got a very Android-ish look to it, right? It's got the same Android like interface button style. It's got like all these applications placed in the freedom loving applications, uh, applications like Signal, which I use, Telegram, which I use, Rumble, which I don't use, Parlor, which I laugh at, ON News Max, whatever it's called, and then the Brave browser. And because it's a phone, it does have a phone. So when you look at this device, you can see that the camera array at the top, right? T picture that real quick, the camera array. If you go to this actual Alibaba website, this is the um D what is it a9 pro all right this comes with the helio p60 process or whatever now you can actually see the camera array kind of matches whatever the fuck we're seeing the bottom notch matches and the camera array matches to the freedom phone design but if that wasn't kind of a weird dead giveaway just scrolling down onto their website you can look at the back camera array so they have like this three camera setup they have a uh, ai sensor or whatever a flashlight and whatever other camera array you go back to the umdigi a9 and boy oh boy would you look at that the same goddamn camera array we just saw before if you want my opinion all right my opinion is this Freedom Phone, this $500 Freedom Phone that's being shipped to you, uh, possibly drop shipped, I guess, uh, is potentially this $200 device that you're looking at on Alibaba, which means the profit margins on this thing might be pretty juicy. Freedom Phone truly is the best phone in the world. It does everything your current phone does, except censor you and spy on you. With the Freedom Phone, your freedom of speech is our number one priority. That's why we built our own app store that is completely... They didn't just call it the Patri app store. Come on now. Okay, so when he's talking about this phone does inspire track on you, I just want to be real with you. If you own any Android device, hell, here's a good example. If you own an iPhone device that's been updated to iOS 14.5 and above, you do realize Apple themselves has like a do not track feature. Uh, that's because Apple makes a shit ton of money siphoning cash out of you where they don't need your data to track on. You already give them way too much money. Apple's in the business of actually caring for your privacy as long as you pay the absolute premium on their device you can actually see screenshots from instagram and facebook where facebook is literally begging you uh this version of ios requires us to ask for permission to track some data from this device to improve your ads we limit the use of this information if you don't turn on this device setting uh we we use information about your activity to show you ads that are more personalized help keep facebook free of charge this ain't a charity mark i ain't turning that shit off all right you, you can't have my data if you have any modern smartphone device, they already have a permission system built inside that keeps the tracking to a minimal, okay? Apple, uh, this is just an iOS example. Uh, Android gets a little bit dicey with Google. I don't know if Google's really all comfortable with you keeping your data to yourself. You know, their business model is a little bit different. Uncensored. If an app you love has been banned from the mainstream app stores, you can still download it on ours because we don't ban apps, period. What if the app has malware? Well, you're going to ban it then? 
<laughs> I assume like everyone has been trying to put them in a catch catch 22 situation where like everyone has said, what if this app has illegal material on it, right? Well, I'm pretty sure they're going to have to remove that because it's a US based application. So we're not even going to get into that idea. But if you're releasing apps that aren't going to be banned period, and you're complying with the fact that law enforcement wants you to remove certain applications, or certain applications have malware within them, aren't you technically kind of banning them to begin with? I would love to see this in person. I would love to see this phone released and them sticking by their promise of never banning an app, period. And we've developed the first operating system based on your free speech. There's no app tracking, no keyboard tracking, and no location tracking, because I believe in your security. How do we ensure you're being protected? Say hello to Trust. Trust is our privacy guard. It's designed to warn you whenever an app or a website is tracking you and gives you the option to stop it. Your data, your rules. That's our motto. Okay, so... <laughs> So he said that we have trust our permission, no location tracking, no keyboard tracking, no nothing tracking. Now, right underneath this tweet, he basically clarified for the tech savvy, our operating system on the phone is our own blend of AOSP, which is Android, uh, lineage OS, graphene OS, which are flavors of Android and our own personal development as well. Our tech is a custom model of phone with parts from all over the world, but the phone is not manufactured in mainland China. Yeah, except it just looks very fucking similar to a phone that, you know, we just found on Alibaba. I mean, there's there there's some suspicious shit going on. Now, to understand what he's talking about is frameworks like, OK, it has no tracking, no camera, no keyboard, no location, no tracking at all. Your data, your rules. We have our own framework called Trust, which is probably real. But since this is an Android based device, I have to basically sit there and wonder what is the fucking point of this? What he's basically described, the lack of tracking features is something that's added to almost every single modern smartphone operating system anyways. This isn't his own special operating system. This is basically piggybacking off of already established frameworks. So for example, iOS, we just talked about them having their app do not track features. Android with their newest version of Android 12 actually has updates to its anti track tracking systems. Um, so I'm just wondering what are they doing that's so inherently different? And again, when we get to their privacy policy, it's kind of pretty fucking hilarious. So that said, I don't know what they're, this is a lot of buzzwords and what people need to understand, you can already do this on an Android system. Anyways, you don't need to buy a freedom phone to not be tracked. You just need to learn how to use the permissions and fucking tracking features on your phone effectively. Okay. The freedom phone is comparable to the best smartphones on the market. It has an edge to edge screen, a super fast processor and multiple cameras and your SIM card transfers into the freedom phone seamlessly. Oh, the best smartphone on the market. Oh, it's got a super fast processor, a good camera. Uh, that's a pretty bold claim, by the way. I really want to see his $500 phone take on the best from Samsung or Huawei or any of the other big Android manufacturers. Hell, even Apple at this point is going to have to look at that real quick. Uh, but hey, maybe you might be right. Maybe it is the goddamn best phone. Maybe it is really comparable to the best of the best, right? I mean, I haven't used it. It might be. But then he says, like, the SIM card just pops in, which is... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? The SIM card? You are sticking a, piece, a a little chip into your phone that allows your phone to constantly connect to a cellular provider. To achieve 100% full fucking privacy, you would have to have your own cellular networks. Even then, you are subject to your government's regulating body, okay? So here's the weird idea. You have your phone constantly connected to AT&T, Bell, Charter, whatever service you have, and they're able to get your location, ping your area at any given moment through your phone's cellular features. What the f- What? You're not- Dude, you are not- ugh! It's hard. It's hard. I'm telling you, it's really hard to watch this with a straight face. Okay, so that's the Freedom Phone in general, which is like this interesting product. I'm already sure there's a lot of people who sort of jumped into this because they think this is the freedom providing device, even though- we got to really understand what the back end for this has to be. So let's go out further, okay? Our design team in the U.S. scoured the USA to find a manufacturer that was able to provide a phone at the scale we need. We found a horrible truth. The United States at scale is not capable of making a phone. Yeah, that's why everyone goes to China. The labor is super cheap for some reason over there. I wouldn't know. We ended up finding an incredible manufacturer with the free and freedom-loving people of Hong Kong. Where my design team and them work to make a spectacular phone with better internals than they've used on 
on a phone before. So I, I guess I guess that's kind of like a weird admission that this exact phone they found we found over here. I I mean listen, it looks strikingly similar. So unless he like found Umdi Umidigi as the company, maybe then uh, this might have better specifications to bring with. Again, it's it's just, we have to really look at the back end of the situation. So let's go over a couple things with, with the Freedom Phone, okay? So they have the uncensorable app store, our own app store. Read what you like, watch what you like, Unsen ban free. So this is where I think they've pigeonholed themselves. Like obviously, since the, you have to understand the back end. So their data center is probably like AWS or Microsoft Azure or something in, Amer something in America, maybe something in Russia, something, whatever their data center is, they have to comply by their rules, okay? So the whole reason that something like Parler got shut down was because Parler was hosted on Amazon Web Services, okay? Amazon Web Services runs a big portion of the internet. If you do not comply by their rules, they will remove you from their hosting service, being a private business. If you don't follow their TOS, they'll remove you. So this is provided that they're running their own cloud systems, their own backend servers, right? They're not piggybacking or leasing space from anybody. So the idea here is that obviously if some illegal material, and you know what I'm talking about, shows up, they have to remove that per federal law. Otherwise, they're going to be shut down way too hard. Or they may not be. Who knows, right? Like, this might this might be some back-end psyop that I have no idea about. But that would be a crazy story if true. Now, at this point, they put themselves into a pigeonhole. Because imagine if an app comes out with malware, right? Are you going to ban it on the grounds that it could be infecting other users? Uh, I mean, you are supposed to be ban free, right? Like, what's going on here? So they have to have some goddamn rule set. But if one ban happens, it completely destroys their uncensorable ban free app store ideology. Now they've got apps. So they've got a bunch of preloaded applications. So some of our most popular banned and unbanned conservative sites. So you see what side of the political spectrum they're aiming at. So they're using DuckDuckGo. That's not really that. <laughs> You just set your default search engine as DuckDuckGo. Not that big of a deal. Great search engine, by the way. Newsmax, IDNS, Rumble, and then Parler. Parler actually got removed because of its AWS scuffle. It's back now. But I'm actually wondering if these are legitimately installed applications, by the way. Or if they're just preloading this for, like, all the conservatives to buy up. Now, at the end of the day, all right, you can check if an app is legitimately installed. So if there's some, like, auto-bannings that start happening, it's going to be fucking hilarious. Now, it's funny to me that they've got a freedom, free speech first operating system. We developed the first mass marketable mobile phone operating system based on free speech. That's a very, very odd claim. At the end of the day, dude, it's just Android. And it's definitely piggybacking off of its already established privacy framework, okay? This is, this just seems like a big fucking grift, okay? Your privacy guards say hello to trust. Your data, your rules with powerful tools such as trust. Uh, every phone basically tells you if you're being spied on anyways. Android does that now. iOS has been doing that shit for years, okay? That's, dude, this is not something new, okay? This is like, I just don't get it. We want to create a future where free communication is not banned by big tech. We want to bring back free speech forever. Go back to using SMSs, okay? Go back to using text messages, all right? Big, big, big tech ain't banning that shit. So let's look at their privacy policy real quick, which is real fucking funny, by the way, too. This is like the real death knell. Collecting using your personal data. Ah, wait, wait, what did they say about we don't track you and all that shit? Well, it's probably just associated with the website, you know? While using our service, we may ask you to provide us with certain personally identifiable information. Email addresses, first and last name, phone number, address, date, problem zip code city usage data uh, i assume this is for your shipping information right I, you know if you're buying this freedom phone uh, i'm being really nice by the way uh, and then you and then you go down use of your personal data the company may use personal data for the following purposes uh, i love how they said the company because they used a generator you know you could have replaced that with like the freedom <laughs> I, i'm just saying to provide and maintain our services, include to monitor the usage of our service, to contact you, provide you, manage your requests, business transfers. We may use your information to evaluate or conduct a merger, divest, divestiture, restructuring, reorganization, dissolution, and or other sale or transfer of some of all of our assets, whether as a going concern or as part of a bankruptcy, liquidation, or similar proceeding, in which personal data held by us about our service users is among the assets transferred 
transferred. So if these motherfuckers get bought out by another business, your personal data is just among the assets transferred? What? What? <laughs> oh, oh, the, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. The company will take all steps reasonably necessary to ensure that your data is treated securely and in accordance with this privacy policy. Well, that's good to know. Congratulations. So I'm sure they're encrypting your data and keeping it absolutely secure. I have no reason to believe otherwise, okay? That's just standard practice. Again, disclosure of your personal data. Business transaction. So we looked at it earlier, right? If a company is involved in a merger, acquisition, or asset sale, your personal data may be transferred. We'll, notice, we'll, we'll provide notice before your personal data is transferred and become subjects to a different privacy policy. They'll notify you. But that could just have, you know, that, that could be a thing. Law enforcement. Under certain circumstances, the company may be disc required to disclose your personal data if required to do so by law. Again, <laughs> the Freedom Phone that doesn't track you? Yeah, I mean, the service is really, the, serv the service itself speaks a bit otherwise. Sorry, I just want to, like, re-clarify what was in the personal, da personal data collected. Yeah, you're entire literally your fucking docs, okay, is what it's mentioned. Jesus Christ. Now, th listen, at the end of the day, there's nothing stopping you from buying a mid-range Android device and effectively just installing the exact same forks of Android that they're using to give yourself the privacy. In order to achieve privacy the way that these guys want, okay, you would have to have your own cell networks, your own back-end cloud services, which I don't think they have the scale or capacity to do. I know Eric's a rich Bitcoin millionaire, but I don't think he's a Google Apple billionaire tech firm that has the ability to even handle any of that. And that's basically what you need to have some understanding of privacy and, and, and security. And even then, there's so much government compliance anyways that you have to track and give up your user data. It's interesting how they pigeonhole themselves into this unbannable system, which I'm almost all but sure if this ever takes off, they're gonna have to be really changing that policy with because it's going to be tested in the in the upcoming months whenever this launches if it sells if 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 it reaches anybody's hands and that's going to be a shit show worth seeing but till now that's all i really have to say on the entire um on the entire freedom phone don't buy it you can do all of this shit yourself don't give somebody 500 dollars for a cheap upmark pri product that you're getting from the other side of the world with in my opinion no real tangible benefits or or freedom uh, that you can't already do yourself. This is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.